Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video and this time I'm trying something new. Now the idea is to start 5 minutes Friday and this is the first one of it, so pretty sure I'm gonna go over 5 minutes, but hey, let's try to stick to it. Anyway, today it's a very kind of an easy start, let's put it this way. I know probably most of you had this situation during the uh, photo sessions, it's been busy or something happened, you forgot to change your camera setting and then you go home load images and it's just wow so that's what's happened to me in a recent session uh, i had a lovely model in the studio and we shoot some uh, uh, white backdrops with the speed lights and then we move to continuous light just a close-up portraits and i forgot to change my camera setting so the images came a little bit kind of a really orangey missing some of the information of the backdrops but as far as i shoot in raw and i hope you do Everything could be recovered really easy in Lightroom and this is what I wanted to show you today. And also, I'm going to give you one of my new presets for free. Just one for now because I'm working on the rest of it and I want to make the pack proper. But yeah, so if you're ready, let's do this 5 minutes Friday. Let's see how I'm going to do and if I'm going to fit in 5 minutes. Okay guys, so let's do this, yeah? 5 minutes Friday. Let's do a really quick one. So as you can see here, all of my images, it's edit. I left this one just to show you how quick you can adjust your white balance, just with a few touch. And of course, I'm going to talk to you about the free preset included in this uh, tutorial. So this is the set before we shoot with uh, Olivia. And as you can see, it's shot on white with the speed light. So when we move to the close up and the backdrops, I forgot to change my camera setting because I didn't use speed lights. I use uh, continuous LED light. I use Godox SL60 with a lantern softbox. If you're interested, fantastic uh, unit for a close-up shot. So the link is down in the description. You can get one for yourself if you want to do close-ups and you don't want to do speed lights. However, very important, check your camera white balance. So this is what's happened with me. I didn't change and we end up with this. Now, as far as you're shooting in RAW, you'll be safe. So let's go into develop mode and show you very quick how to fix that you probably aware of the Lightroom uh, auto white balance but first of all I always first check the profile I always do Adobe color and then in the white balance as you can see at the moment it's a shot so it's on 7400 temperature which is quite warm we can see we lost a lot of information from the backdrop and I'll add a lot of orange and warm to the skin so let's fix this Usually, if you press Auto, it will do a pretty good job. Depends on the situation. I'm quite happy here with the Auto, but I'm still missing some of the backdrop and the skin is still a little bit orangey. And in my case, with the SL60 from Godox, I found out that the fluorescent worked fantastic. And here we go. Look at that. Beautiful. One thing, uh, though, you need to think about it and you need to look in this case I have a little bit too much magenta on the skin so I'm just gonna bring it down to around five points I'm gonna keep some of it but I'm gonna make the skin more settled and now we're gonna work on the backdrop and on the skin to make everything pop out so with exposure I'm absolutely fine here because I have the light very close to Olivia on the right side so it's pretty much on the full blast and it's uh, fantastic but I want to remove some of the reflections and make a little bit contrast between the model and the backdrop so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring up the contrast a little bit just around uh, like a 10 points not too much just a little bit i don't want to push too much but then i'm gonna bring the highlights down to around 67 68 something like that now with the shadows i want to increase so instead of going darker i want to increase a little bit just so i can get this side here on the eye a little bit more kind of a light so I'm just gonna increase to around 41 42 with the whites as well I will go down to about 38 and uh, with the blacks I'm gonna go around minus 10 just to introduce a little bit of the black so let's see before and after yeah pretty much so texture clarity decays I'm not gonna use in some cases you may want to increase the clarity it's look fantastic but in this particular image I wanted to keep it nice and soft so I won't touch anything one thing I do actually here usually on the close-ups I always play with the vibrance and saturation so with the vibrance 
I'm gonna bring a little bit of uh, the vibrance 22 23 points and I'm gonna drop down the saturation I will use a little bit of the tone curve and then uh, a little bit of the H cell colors and you see why I'm doing this so if we go on tone curve let's call the basic we are done tone curve just a basic smooth like a S curve just gonna bring the end of the blacks here a little bit up then introduce one point give it a little bit darkness and then gonna bring the lights as well so we're gonna give a little nice kind of vibrance to the model and to the backdrop in the same time and help them lovely separate to each other right we're done with this and final step is the H cell palette here what we're gonna touch it's only backdrop and a skin with the backdrop in blue we're gonna go to the hue on the blue Obviously you can change color here, if you're fancy to do some kind of a funky stuff, go for it, you can play with it because it's gonna obviously just affect the blues. But what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna change color, all I want is to just increase a little bit the blue so I have a little bit more contrast. Then with the oranges in saturation, this is her skin, so at the moment it's pretty good to be honest but i'm still having a little bit kind of an orange pop out and i don't want that so i'm gonna bring down to around minus 16 okay something like that minus 15 minus 16 and then with the blues i'm gonna increase a little bit the saturation to give it a little more separation to around 25 to 28 points so every image is different depends what you're working on but this is basically what i wanted to show you and finally luminous it's only on the blue i will increase around like a eight to ten points and i'm done seriously i'm done so before and after quite a lot of difference isn't it it's a beautiful so just a quite few touch i know we talk about here white balance but things bother me so i'm gonna get my spot removal Tool here and I'm just gonna quick fix the face few spots just to show you that you don't have to always go to a Photoshop Lightroom is doing pretty good job when it's come to small fixes like this you know what I mean like some spots removal you don't really need to bother with Photoshop just a quick one sometimes you need to move the spot to help Lightroom to find the right pixel but apart from that you're absolutely fine and there you go I'm happy with this and yeah before and after so just to tell you quick i'm working on some presets here uh this is the cold and blue at the moment which as you can see i did very quick kind of a, around this my preset area but if i press on this i have the preset ready you're gonna get this for free so check the link in the description to download this preset and i'm working on more presets which i'm gonna release soon on a very nice price so you can all benefit from them therefore different scenarios for example i have this image this is using the vintage and edgy but you can have a warm and smooth or washed or soft and vintage depends what kind of a situation you're working then we obviously have if you're shooting on white backdrop you have again the soft and vintage uh, or you can probably decide to go on a white backdrop black and white and of course I have this here as well which is the color gel as you can see it's before and after look what's happening so it depends on the different situation I have a black as well on the dark backdrop or on a white if you want to change things I'm working I'm kind of a perfecting at the moment the the presets so stay tuned they will be released soon but for now you're gonna get this the cold and blue for free and this is it guys for me as i mentioned uh, there's a link in the description to download this uh, preset if you came in this situation or maybe shooting in the similar kind of a setup with the blue backdrops and close up it will help you very quick and easy fix uh, also let me know what you think about five minutes friday I will keep making them but let me know and uh, probably give me some ideas what you want to see do you want to see more about uh, image editing with Lightroom or do you want to see more Photoshop or do you want to see some Premiere Pro just drop some comments so I can gather some ideas uh, I already have some on my list but more is better okay and yeah thank you for joining in uh, as always 
don't forget to share like comment and subscribe of course it means a lot to me okay stay safe and i'll see you next week with another video definitely five minutes friday but in something else as well around midweek okay bye bye for now bye